Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have a thrifted vintage haul to share with you. I have been hunting for vintage Christmas, but of course, while I'm out shopping for Christmas decorations, I am finding everyday decor. So I have a little mix of both everyday decor, like some ironstone pieces, and then I do have some Christmas mixed in. So we have a little bit of both today. My husband and I are on vacation from work this week. We're doing just like a little staycation, but we plan on going to PA one of these days. So hopefully I will have another vintage Christmas haul to share with you. I'll probably do a haul of anything that I find when we go out antiquing. I think we're gonna go on Tuesday, so that will be very exciting. Hopefully I find some Santa mugs. I'm still hunting for these dang Santa mugs. But I want to share with you guys some really awesome finds that I found the other day since I'm on vacation, hitting up a lot of thrift stores and antique stores. So I have some great things to share with you. We'll do like a mix back and forth of regular decor and then Christmas decor. So we have a mix of both, like I said. First, I'm gonna start out with this gorgeous ironstone platter. And the lighting is not that great in here today, so I'll probably do individual clips of these pieces and do like a separate video on top to show you guys all of the details of these items. But I got this gorgeous ironstone platter. So much discoloration and staining on this piece. It's really beautiful and it has a gorgeous ironstone stamp. I got this at an antique store. I paid $15 for it. No, I don't need another ironstone platter, but the detail on this and the staining, I have just been loving the more stained pieces, so I just could not leave it behind. So I have been looking for these brass horns, but every time I come across them, they are so expensive and I know they're marked up right now and in a lot of antique stores right now because tis the season, it's Christmas, people are looking for these. So when I came across these, I was so surprised by the price. I got these mini brass horns. They are pretty tiny as compared to my head. I got two of them and they were $4 a piece, which I felt like was a really good price. They have such gorgeous patina to them. Like I said, I will share some up close videos of them, but they have beautiful patina and the one does have a sticker still on it that says made in India. So these are authentic brass horns. They are so beautiful and they look really good mixed in with your neutral Christmas decor. And then I was at the Goodwill the other day and this was covered in like greenery and this tacky ribbon. It looked really rough and I feel like it was still there because the beauty of this piece was covered up by all of this junk all over it. Um, but I got this giant brass horn, like this is the size comparison. And this one also has a sticker on it that says handcrafted in India, solid brass. And this is such a significant size, it's so beautiful. These are really great to stick on a wreath with ribbon, like just layer this right on your greenery wreath. Even these, if you get a mini wreath, you could stick these around a candle. So many beautiful ways that you can style these brass horns. And I only paid $5.49 for this. I just cut off all of the greenery and the tacky stuff that was on it. And I love this. Such a good price. Only $5.49 with the Goodwill for that. And when I came across it, I was so surprised that it was even there. So I love that. And then another Goodwill find, I think I only have, yeah, these are the only like Goodwill finds, the, the horn and this gorgeous pillow. This says by Kathy on it is the um, tag. I think there is like a primitive store traditions by Kathy or something on Amazon. I could be wrong, but um, 
So yeah, this is a really tiny pillow, but I bought this with intentions of putting it on my front porch um, for the Christmas season. It's like a deep, deep green color and I love the plaid. I think I only paid $2.49 or $3.49 for this at the Goodwill. And just to layer like a teeny pillow on my bench out front for the Christmas season just looks so cute. So I love this. And I will be sharing a front porch decorate with me video this week. So I will be including this on my front porch. So I went to a thrift store and I stumbled across these mugs and of course they were like all stacked kind of so I could see just this look of them and I was like oh my god I stumbled upon chunky ironstone mugs and at first glance yes these are gorgeous chunky ironstone looking mugs with a chunky rim all of that but on the back as most of the chunky ironstone mugs that I find, they always have a label like this on them. These are USS Milius, I don't even know, USS Ramage. They have these labels on them. And I thought to myself, maybe I could do a DIY trying to remove the labels on there. If I can figure out a hack to try to get these labels off, I will of course share it with you guys. I've seen people use acetone on them, maybe like a light sanding. I'm not sure. If I cannot get them off, it is what it is. I will just leave them styled like this. It does bother me a little bit that they're not solid, but it is what it is. Like I said, um, they still look adorable and super chunky, but I will try to figure out a little hack on how I could possibly remove the label from this because I find these all the time, but with the label. Um, the only reason I picked these up and figured it was worth it to do a DIY was because everything in this thrift store was 50% off. So I got these for two bucks and I figured for $2, it would be worth it to um, try to remove the label. Um, and this does say on the bottom, Armed Forces China Co. On the bottom. This one says, Career Mill Art China Co. Westford, Massachusetts. Collectible, career collectibles. So I got both of those for $2 each. Like I said, I'll probably just turn them around. I do not have good faith that this is going to come off, but it is what it is. They were a good price, and I love that chunky style with that chunky rim. So cute. Um, and then speaking of that thrift store, I found this stack of two little chunky china bowls. And they're not labeled, but I love them. Just little chunky creamy white bowls they were 50 cents a piece and then I did come across this little bowl honestly this looks like a little butter pat to me and I already cleaned all this stuff up and have it stacked with my butter pats and it fits perfectly with them and I will share a close-up video of this this has amazing crazing on it and it makes me feel like it is a butter pat I'm not 100% sure, but it's a more tan color. It's not really like white, but it is so beautiful. And I paid 50 cents for this as well. So I was not leaving that little bevy behind. Okay, we're gonna get to some of the good stuff. So I stumbled upon this adorable set of salt and pepper shakers. I could literally cry how cute these are. They are labeled made in Taiwan. And this is them. They are so cute. They have a little S and a P on them. I'm not going to use them for salt and pepper. They're just going to be for display. But I am obsessed with them. They're little teeny tiny salt and pepper shakers. And these Santa faces are I'm obsessed with them this year. It's becoming a slight problem. I just am loving decorating with Santa faces this year. So 
love these guys so much made in Taiwan so they are vintage and I paid I want to say nine dollars for the set of these at an antique store which what a bargain um I'll share those other Santa faces in a minute okay let's do a non-Christmas item really quick I did get another ironstone pitcher. I have a similar one right here. It's the same style, but that one has like more staining. But you guys, this pitcher has the most beautiful patina, has so many like cracking details in it. And the inside is super stained. It's not labeled, but it is that ironstone style. And I just love this thing so much. It's like a beautiful, deep tan color. It is just so, so beautiful. I got this for, it was marked 20 and then it was 20% off. So I paid 16 for this. Such a steal of a deal for this. Next up, I have some ornaments that I could not believe how affordable they were at the antique store. So I'll show you them real quickly. I got this little gingerbread. He was $2, it's a little guy. And then I got this gingerbread girl. She was also $2. Then I got this star with a gingham red ribbon on it. This was $1. And then I got these little bows. They're wooden. One is red, one is green. And these were a dollar a piece as well. So affordable for some really cute ornaments. And then I am not going to pull all of these out, but I paid a dollar each for them. I paid a dollar each for them. Let me pull off this white tag. It was so funny, the lady at the checkout that was ringing me up, she was like, oh my God, I only found one of them. Where did you find the other ones? And I was like, I left that one behind because it didn't have a hook on it. So I'm glad that I scooped them up when I did because she was grabbing them right after me and I scored eight and she only got the last one. So I felt sad, but I was like, I'm taking these home with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they are these like rusty bells. I love them. I paid a dollar each for them. And like I said, I got eight. I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. I may just stick them right on our tree or I might make like a little garland out of them. They are so cute and I just love that rusty patina on them. They do work. My cats are probably going to come running, but... They are beautiful little jingle bells with star details and I just love that rustiness. So I got those. So as I was walking around the antique store, I was thinking to myself like what are non-traditional Christmas items that I can incorporate into my house that are still like the Christmas colors and all of that. So I stumbled upon a stack of enamelware pots and if you collect enamelware pots, you know that they have like black rimmed ones, they have like dark navy rimmed ones, they have red ones, and I thought to myself, I could use a red rimmed enamel pot and it would be just like a subtle touch of Christmas red without screaming like, or decorating for Christmas kind of thing. So I scooped up this little red enamelware pot and I attached this ribbon to it. I got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby for literally like $1.99 and I've used it so many times so far in my Christmas decorating for wreaths and just hanging it off of different pieces like this so that I can hang it on hooks and stuff. So I didn't find this in the actual Christmas section. This was in Hobby Lobby's actual ribbon section. So go check it out if you're looking for it. It's the thinnest one. And I just attached it to the hook. And it's such a simple way to add red into your decor without screaming Christmas, like I said. So I got this gorgeous little pot. I already have it hung up on my little black peg rail in my kitchen. And I paid $9 for this. 
I think it's so cute. Just this little Christmas touch. And then I think that these were my favorite finds. I am in love with these. I also attached red ribbon to these. As you can see, I've already hung them up, but I got these Santa faces. I have never seen anything like this. These are just like the Santa faces on the vintage mugs that I like to collect. And they are labeled Japan. And I'm gonna share a close up video of these because you cannot see just how beautiful the glazing and all of that is. It just doesn't do it justice from this angle. So I will input some close up videos and you can see the Japan label on the back. And I attached this little ribbon. It already had this hook and I am just loving this so much. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And of course it had a buddy. So I bought the little buddy as well. And I love them. I love that they're like chippy and the red is coming off. It just matches with my decor so much. And I only paid $4 a piece for these. $4 a piece? Are you kidding? Such a score. Love them. They are the cutest things I've ever seen. This was a random Hobby Lobby find that I wanted to share with you guys, but my Hobby Lobby is still stocking Christmas stuff. Like things that I went last week, I didn't see these, and I went yesterday and I found them finally. But these are the mini Santa mugs. They are similarly sized to the um, mini Santa ornament mugs from Target. So these are $5 at Target. These are $5.49 and then 60% off at Hobby Lobby. So if you can find them, it's such a great price. And I think these ones are so cute. They have like that vintage looking face that I just love and a little blush on the cheeks. So cute. So I got four of these yesterday at Hobby Lobby. Okay, I just have two more things to show you. And I did not think that I was gonna pick up one of these tacky Christmas trees this year. However, Nick and I walked around a um, antique store recently and it was so nostalgic and fun. And he had shared when he saw one of these that um, either his grandmother or his great grandmother had one of these in their houses for the Christmas time. So I'm not crazy about most of them, if I'm being honest, and they're always so large. So it kind of deters me from them. But I found this small one. It doesn't have a base or anything. So I have to find a small light to put in here to light it up. But I mean, it's not small, small, but it's not like overwhelmingly large like some of them. And the large ones are like priced over $100 at most of the antique stores that I go to. So I scored this one and it was 38, which I didn't think was too terrible of a price. And it's in like mint condition, except for not having the actual light at the bottom, but none of the lights are missing. There is not one empty hole on this thing. And it does have GQ 1985 on the bottom. So I'm assuming somebody made this, which is just crazy to me that somebody made this. I think that is so freaking cool. So I did pick this up. I think it made Nick smile because it was like super nostalgic. And listen, I am all about like having a beautiful home for Christmas and that neutral vibe and the whites and the reds, but there is nothing like some of that tacky Christmas decor. Like that is so fun to me. And I'm always drawn to that kind of stuff. Like, like tacky gingerbread houses and tacky gingerbread men and tacky Christmas trees. Like I don't ever want to like just be this like perfect neutral house. I don't know how to explain it. Like just some houses on Instagram just seem like so like plain and I don't want to like not incorporate some of this tacky fun stuff that makes Christmas Christmas if you guys get what I'm saying at all. So 
I don't mind adding in some random tackiness into my home because it's nostalgic and it's fun and I don't know. I think it makes our house feel more Christmassy. So I did pick that up. And then the last thing that I got was this amazing sled. I still have to clean it off, but I'm going to incorporate this on my front porch this year. No, like this is actually really filthy, but it says made in USA by L. Allen & Co. Incorporated, Philadelphia, PA, manufacturers of IE Flexible Flyer Sled and Planet Junior RM and Garden Tools. You guys, this is so beautiful. Oh, it says something under there too, but it's too dirty. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. It is like in perfect condition other than being dirty. It has the gorgeous like rope attached to it still. And I only paid $25 for this sled. I have been seeing these sleds around this time of year upwards of like $75 in antique stores. So when I came across this and saw $25, I knew she was coming home with me. So she will be in my front porch decorate with me video. I'm so excited to film that and get our porch all ready for Christmas. So I think that is all that I have to share with you guys today. I'm like looking around my house, like did I miss anything? <laughs> Because I have been trying to style some of these pieces getting ready for my Christmas home tour. No, I don't think I missed anything. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my vintage treasures, some ironstone with some Christmas mixed in. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.